Hey everyone, welcome back to Making Magical Adventures. In today's video, we're back at Disney California Adventure Park to check out all the new updates for the start of the Christmas time here at the Disneyland Resort. We're gonna take a look at some new festival holidays updates, talk about some new foods that are coming here to the park, as well as check out any new merchandise and new food, so stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. Starting here off on Buena Vista Street, you can see that the Christmas time season is finally arriving here to the park and it looks so fantastic. You can, however, see a little bit of Halloween still, and that's just gonna be something that's pretty much throughout the park as they are still trying to take things down. But for the most part, everything here is starting to look really nice for the holidays. And one thing to keep in mind also, as the holidays are changing, keep your eyes peeled for the new maps that are out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these up just because it has San Francisco. It's time now to come inside of Five and Dime and see what new merchandise has arrived today. Upon coming inside, it looks like there is still a lot of the new Christmas time merchandise here inside the parks. So if you guys are looking for some of this stuff, you can find it in the first room here inside of Five and Dime. As well as the Christmas time merchandise, there's also some Happy Hanukkah merchandise here inside the parks as well, with a bunch of different fun things for this new year. And for those of you who weren't able to make it to Oogie Boogie Bash but wanted something for this year, it looks like they also have a bit of the collection still left here in stock, which those ears still look so phenomenal. Let's see if they make their way over to the cast store. It looks like Chip and Dale have arrived in their plushy form for the holidays as well. I don't think I saw these last time, but these will run you $34.99. And for $29.99, it looks like you can find this really cute Mickey Christmas time sweater outfit thing for little ones. It looks like what I'm seeing is it runs all the way to 12 months, but this is a really cute outfit as well. There also looks like there are plenty of spirit jerseys for the Christmas time here at Disneyland. So if you guys are wanting to pick them up, they are here as well as the Crocs, which I think we're gonna be passing on this year, but there is some really cool ornaments as well. So good way to commemorate the holiday if you guys are coming here to the resort. And don't forget about these cozy new sweaters that they have. They're geared towards different characters. So this is Chip and Dell, and the hood actually has, it looks like Dell on this one. And then there's also Stitch, which also has Stitch like on the hood part. So these are really cute as well. I know one thing that I might be picking up sooner than later is this Disney 100 Disney Parks cookbook. It just looks really cool and I feel like it would be a great way to celebrate the Disney 100. There's also another book that you can get, but I think this might be the one. What do you guys think? And a very popular item as well are these really fun cookie jar snowman. So they still have them in stock here as well. And it also looks like these Starbucks tumblers are still here in stock. And speaking of Starbucks, today is the official launch of the new drinks at the Starbucks locations, which that's what Nicole is doing right now. But I think we're gonna pass on this this year as well. It also looks like there are a few new plushies that I didn't see the other day. It looks like we have Stitch for $30 and we have Eeyore over here, which he looks really cute as well. And it looks like a returning item are the Santa Claus Mickey ears, which these look a little flimsy compared to last year, I don't know. But we also have the snowman ears, which Nicole really likes these. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be picking up between now and November 10th. And it looks like we have the new lounge fly as well, which this looks simple. I really do like the elegance of it. It has like that plaid look to it. What do you guys think? Are you going to be picking it up? They also have these really unique ears to also match with that lounge fly bag. These look pretty cool. I'm not sure if I like the little diamond things on the top. Maybe it's a little too much bling, but nonetheless, it does look pretty cool. Just got done checking out all the new merchandise inside of Five and Dime and Elias and & Co. And Nicole is finally here with the new Starbucks drinks, so let's try them out. Okay, so the team members over at Starbucks are so nice to give Raylani a cup of whipped cream with sprinkles, and she calls them sugars. And we got her the peppermint bark cake pop that came out for the holiday season, so... She's just gonna be a little elf all sugared out. And thank you again to Wendy for making that little magic moment happen. So this here is a cranberry bliss bar. So it looks like it's just like a dough based bar with some white chocolate drizzled and cranberries throughout. And I think it also includes some oranges. So a little bit of those holiday touches and a little treat. So let's take our bite here. 
I don't think I've ever had this, so here we go. That treat was really good. I actually enjoyed it. It's not overly sweet. You have the natural sweetness from the cranberries and then you get the hint of orange at the end. I absolutely love that and we'll definitely be getting it more this season. <laughs> and it looks like Miss Raylani down there with Lotso is enjoying her cake pop as well as cup of sprinkles or cup of uh, whip with sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just got the original peppermint mocha drink here. So you get that nice chocolate smoothness throughout the whole drink and then you get blast with that minty peppermint taste at the very end. This is really good. I can probably only have one this season just because over time that mint can get a little overwhelming like toothpaste. So I don't want to ruin that for myself. So this is a nice little treat for today. So Henry got the newest drink that came out through the whole entire holiday line. So this is going to be the iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte. I want to make sure I didn't forget anything in there. It looks really pretty. It looks like it's topped with like a cold foam. I could be wrong, but there is some cinnamon topping. Let's dive in. Nicole had to help Reilani with something, but I'm going to be trying this gingerbread drink. I'm actually really excited. So let's take our first sip. interesting so maybe I gotta mix it up just a little bit more you do taste that chai right away I'm not really getting much hints of that gingerbread let me go ahead and mix it up and try it then I feel like the chai is just a little overpowering I mean it's it's really really good don't get me wrong but to say it's gingerbread I don't really see it quite yet let's have Nicole try it out all right let me see if it smells more than it tastes like I do, I do smell it. Okay. Okay, let's taste it. So I feel like I do taste it. I feel like you gotta like swish it around as weird as that sounds. Um, I don't feel like, sometimes I feel like it could get watered down by that oat milk, but I do taste the hint of the chai mixed in with the gingerbread. So I don't know, maybe you just gotta gargle it a little bit to get those senses, senses in pants. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, well, let's kick off the rest of this holiday season. Can you all guess what is missing here? Well, the Headless Horseman has finally returned back home after a fun Halloween time season here at the Disneyland Resort. But it looks like we also have some of the pumpkins and bats still over there at Carthay Circle, which will probably also be making their way home sooner than later. But that's an update here for the Headless Horseman area. But don't fear, here where the Headless Horseman is at, there's actually going to be a big Christmas tree making its way here to the parks very soon, so stay tuned for that. At the moment, it looks like Smoothies is still under construction, so let's see when that opens. But now it is time to make our way over here to the studio catering cart inside of Hollywood Studios. Now we're walking over here next to the studio catering cart, and it looks like it is finally transformed from the actual black truck back to the red one so that's pretty interesting but also if we make our way over here to the back area it looks like they are doing something so let's go over here so here at stage 12 it looks like they are getting ready for something i am not too sure what this is let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do know it's probably gonna be some sort of like party thing i'm imagining but yeah that's new Raylani really wanted to dress up as Lotso today. What do you guys think? I think she did a great job. Yeah. Oh, Minnie. Yep, you met Minnie at Oogie Boogie Bash. Good job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the Oogie Boogie Bash. Good job. I never really, like, took the time to, like, stand here and actually look at the clouds, but I feel like they did a really, really good job at capturing, like, the clouds. I don't know if this is, like, pollution or like the sunset, but I think they did a pretty good job. What do you think, Raylani? They did? Yeah, oh no, <laughs> they're all out. You're so funny. So at the moment, it does not look like there is any festival holidays booths over here next to the Hollywood Studios. That does not mean that it's not gonna be here. It's just not here at the moment. It could probably start popping up within the next handful of days or so. We're gonna keep making our way through the park and see if we can find any booths at all and just new different decorations for the Christmas time also here at the resort. So yesterday Henry and I were watching the Behind the Attraction season two and it was so funny because Walt had a hot dog and by the time he was done eating his hot dog, he told his team, this is where a trash can should be, this is where a trash can should be, so that there's always a trash can so you're not holding your trash here at the park. 
and it's true because we just ran into that instance. We finished something and a trash can was there. <laughs> so a little trash can fact. It looks like Making Spirits Bright for the Festival Holidays booth has arrived. So over here you can find a few different items such as the Impossible Chicken Curry Bites, the Pumpkin Layer Cheesecake, Tiramisu Yule Law Cocktail, a Chocolate Mint Stout Shake. So if you guys are ready for that, it's over here at Making Spirits Bright. All right, so anybody who knows me knows that I absolutely love Tiramisu, so I will be trying that Tiramisu Cocktail on this board. I might even get two. As of today, it looks like it is still Halloween here in Cars Land which I am okay with because I feel like Cars Land is amazing for the Halloween time. So good job Cars Land, keeping it going. But also in this area where Merry Mashups is, it looks like we have some Southern Mac and Cheese. We have a Maple Hazelnut Hot Buttered Rum, Santa's Cookies and Hot Cocoa. Wow, I said that backwards. Santa's Milk and Cookies Hot Cocoa. So those are a few options here at the Merry Mashups booth. Right across from Merry Mashups, it looks like we have the backdrop for the festival holidays. So if you guys do come for that day specifically, they do a lot of music and news reporting right here in this area. Well, I should correct myself. They do music pretty much throughout the entire holiday season at the resort. But right here is a fun little area. And if it's open, you could take some pictures. So I definitely stood correct when we were inside of Hollywood Studios and I said that there was no booths. So it's looking like we're finding quite a bit of them. So let's see if we can find any more. Just arrived to the Little Mermaid ride and it looks like they have some Christmas time holiday garland up as well. And if you look close enough, you can see some seahorses, some seashells and other fun underwater critters. So make sure you check this out. So it looks like for the moment, that is all the booths for Festival Holidays 2023 here at the resort. However, there are gonna be more booths coming just because we only saw, what, two or three of them, and there's probably like six to eight. But keep your eyes peeled for that. We're gonna have more videos coming soon to kind of show you guys all the locations. But as of right now, that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much where we're gonna end it as far as trying to find more booths. However, over there, located in Paradise Garden Grill, it does change over for Feliz Navidad, I believe is what Nicole said. So when we do come later on next week, we'll actually check that out. But for now, we're standing in line for the new Magic Key Shot. Okay guys, so something that I'm really passionate about are the Three Caballeros. So Magic Key holders, they do have that Magic Key bag that I know everybody has seen all over Instagram. So that ranges uh, from November 1st through November 9th. It's from the start of one or two, p I wanna say it's 2 p.m all the way to 7 p.m. as long as supplies last. You have to show your Magic Key Pass and be present. And we just found out there is also a magic shot that we're gonna go do right now. So let's go Fiesta! All right, so we just got our picture taken as a family and it was such a great experience. Thank you to the cast member, Alex, who took our photo. She was really sweet. But while we were waiting in line, Disney did just announce, they've been announcing quite a bit of things, but they are finally getting us ready for the Christmas season. They showed the new popcorn bucket that's gonna be coming out. They also have released the food guide since. Uh, Festival of Holidays is kicking off. So there is just so much more to this Christmas season and we can't wait for it to hit both parks. If you guys wanna get more information on all the Christmas things that are happening here at Disneyland, make sure you check out the link down below. And also another thing that is actually coming to the park is the Christmas tree Donald Sipper, which looks really, really cool. I forgot to have Nicole point that one out, but that is coming as well. I think now we're pretty much wrapping up our video, but don't worry guys, we're gonna actually be coming back a lot more between now and the start of the holiday season. So stay tuned for that. So right in this area is actually where they're gonna set up the holiday booth for like the merchandise and stuff like that. So keep it in mind, if you definitely wanna pick up any of the like festival holiday merchandise, it will all be right here. So we made our way here to Grizzly Peak and it looks like we have Winter Sliderland over here. And from the looks of it, just one of the items is returning, that being the beef brisket slider. We also have the Taragashi Garage chicken slider. Sorry guys, I know I chopped that one up. Then we also have a Spice Pear Mule. So these all sound really delicious and you can find them here at Winter Sliderland. Getting a little bit more inside of the Grizzly Peak area, it looks like we're finding a little bit more garland that's actually showing up on some of the poles. But our favorite is probably this way. 
and that's over here next to the Redwood Creek Trail where you can actually meet Santa. And if you guys have not done this before, we highly recommend it. It looks like the cast members are bringing stuff over here to get this area remodeled for Santa's workshop, which is always kind of like around the side and like back here, but it's such a fun experience if you've never done it. So it looks like my little pals over here at Russian Rivers already have their Christmas sweaters on, their little Christmas lights, and the top of the store has a beautiful wreath. I just gotta say, Disney outdoes themselves with the wreaths every year. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love all the Christmas that is just coming our way. It's definitely getting me amped up. So let's go check them out. All right, so I'm a little bummed out. We just got our pictures taken, as we said earlier, for the Magic Key photo op that they had, and it was supposed to be the Three Caballeros, but we got Jack Jack. So it wasn't our photographer's fault, but it's just a miscommunication on whoever kind of pasted that to the picture. Um, and I hope that's not happening to everybody else. So we'll try again a different week or a different day and see if we can get it on the next photo. So we're walking through the Redwood Creek area and by the Grand Californian, there's a tree here that has mason jars with these beautiful bows. And I don't think I've ever noticed that in previous years. It does look like the jars have like a lighting system. So I'm assuming at night they light up. And it's a cute little touch to add to the park. And right here next to the Soren ride, it looks like these trees are already decorated as well for the holiday time. They got some pretty big pine cones, some like tin cans, and some fun, I wanna say popcorn garland. But make sure you check them out. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments section down below if you're gonna be coming either to Disney California Adventure Park or Disneyland for the Christmas time. We would love to hear. With all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, we always have a magical adventure. See you next video guys. Bye. Bye.